Okay, greetings everyone. A very good afternoon to you and a warm welcome from the Royal Livingston by Anantara Minor Hotels Zambia in Livingston, right next door to the Victoria Falls. So I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Laurie, Laurie Burr. I'm the uh, general manager for the Royal Livingston and of course the uh, Victoria Falls by Avani. So here we are in the Traveller's Bar of the Royal Livingston. It's a bar which is designed with uh, greatest of charm. It evokes the pioneering age of travel. Uh, leather uh, seat backs, a wonderful pictures which have got historic a, um, uh, appeal and of great telling great stories. Um, it's somewhere where everyone comes, has a drink uh, prior to dinner, after dinner, uh, or just for a coffee. But mostly they come for cocktails. And today I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm all by, by myself here, manning the fort. So I thought, what better time to make a cocktail just for you to have something to celebrate while we're all self isolating? Right, like all a, uh, luxury hotels, uh, they all have their signature cocktail and the Royal Livingston is no exception to that. Our uh, classic and signature uh, cocktail is uh, of course the Rosemary and the Watermelon Gin Mudambi Special. That's what I'm going to be preparing for you today. Let me guide you through what you're going to be needing for this. So, we have triple sec. Of course, we have got our famous uh, Mudambi gin. Mudambi is a, a flower which is uh, indigenous here to the southern province of Zambia. It's distilled uh, specifically for us here at the Royal Livingston by uh, the New Harbour Distillery in Cape Town. If, I, if uh, you're ever in that area, I do urge you to go and uh, try and taste it. It's very dry, it's got a sweet nose to it. It's absolutely fantastic. Shaker, crushed and cubed ice, watermelon in cubes, fresh rosemary, and strawberry puree. All of these ingredients are straight from our garden. Right, so let's begin with our a, a signature watermelon and rosemary cocktail. Okay, allow me to make a mess behind the bar. Okay, so we start with our Mudambi gin. As I said, you can use any gin as long as it's a white, uh, a white gin, uh, but a uh, Two double shots of this, we're making it for two. So two double shots of the Mudambi gin. Then of course we go on to the triple sec. The triple sec gives it a nice a, uh, sweet uh, flavor to it because of course the rosemary uh, and the gin is a very dry gin. So the watermelon and the triple sec bring throughout uh, the flavors. Again, a double shot of a, uh, the triple sec. And then the fun begins, the recipes. So to the cocktails, we add watermelon. I've diced this watermelon in cubes. We're gonna use half of it for the actual drink, which will break down inside of the, uh, in the gin while I'm shaking. And the other half I'm gonna use for the garnish of the drink. Of course, every bartender and every chef will tell you everything must be garnished. So in goes the watermelon. Next is strawberries. Strawberry, which I've just crushed up uh, with, a, with a fork. Uh, you can do it with a blender, but uh, three or four strawberries in the, uh, into a glass. If they've got some seeds, you can, might want to take them off. Don't forget, of course, the green a, a stalk on top. That one comes off. But a couple of spoons of that into our mixer and shaker. You can add as much as you like. These strawberries uh, are grown uh, here at uh, the Royal Livingston in our garden. Then of course, no cocktail is without ice. Plenty of ice. Again, feel free to put in cubes, crushed as you wish. You just, this is a drink obviously which has to be served as um, chilled as possible. As possible, yeah. Good, we are nearly there. Then the last ingredient, of course, is the rosemary. Again, I'm gonna keep some for the garnishing and some to infuse while I'm shaking away. Now that has completed all of our ingredients for our signature royal cocktail. So off we go. I always wonder if there's rules to shaking. I see some people do it on the top, on the left. I don't know. As long as it's mixed, I'm sure it'll be fine. You can feel everything getting nice and cold. You want that rosemary to come on through. This is a cocktail which we make in front of the guests. They, they, uh, many guests have actually come behind the bar to make this a, uh, to make this themselves. So hopefully I, I do the right thing here as well. So here we go. 
So, as I said, a little bit of garnishing now. We put a little bit of the uh, watermelon at the very bottom of the, uh, of the glass. Soaks up all the Wadambi gin as you're drinking away. And of course, one piece of rosemary from the garden, whoops, to give it that garnish. So there we go. Let's pour away. As you can see, it's turned into a beautiful pink color. And there we go. This is our signature. Rosemary and watermelon, all from our gardens. Drank by many throughout the world, but most especially here at the Royal Livingston at the Traveller's Bar. And there we have it. Rosemary and watermelon at the Royal Livingston uh, Traveller's Bar. So here we are at Kubu, a, uh, the Royal Livingston Sun Deck, where it is the perfect place to enjoy a cocktail with the fantastic uh, waterfalls behind me. The music you're listening to is John Lennon, Stand By Me, a gentle reminder to keep social distancing two meters apart to reduce the uh, infection. So I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the cocktail, and here's to us. Happy health. Cheers. Actually, it's not bad.